Hey everyone, before we get into the single best base I have ever built in Rust, I just want to say thank you all for 50,000 subscribers. You all are insane, and if you haven't yet, smash that subscribe button. Let's see how fast we can get to 100k. I won't make you wait anymore, let's go ahead and get into the video. So guys, today I have a long-awaited gift for you all. I present to you the Axiom. The Axiom is a clan base intended for vanilla servers and is built to withstand any raid possibly thrown at it. This base features a super overpowered starter, a design that is defendable at all stages of the build, an interior that is designed for the industrial update, and some of the best raid defenses and turret angles in the game. Let's not waste any time with this, let's go ahead and get on into the tour. But first, I have a quick announcement to make. Starting today, I'm opening up my base hub Patreon page to all of you. I have worked endlessly over the last couple months to provide you all with the single best resource to become a better builder in Rust, and I am excited to share it with you all. The base hub will house every single one of my base builds, including bases that won't ever make it to YouTube like my inverted core. Starting at just $10, you will instantly receive a ton of perks, including access to all of my bases, as well as a monthly curated base list starting just two days before this next four swipe. At the $25 tier, you will receive the ability to attend monthly building workshops as well as one personal base review a month. So don't wait, go to patreon.com slash siege or click the link in the top of the description and join our exclusive community today. I will see y'all over there. All right, guys, here we are outside of the Axiom. We go ahead and go through the gates here. And of course, these gates are airlocked just like so. Makes it a little easier to defend from rats getting inside your compound. So, so as you can see here, we've got TCs that are easy to set up early game as well as a long outer compound. Uh, this makes the early game stages of the build a lot easier. As you can see here, we have some uh, foundations to spread privilege. So only you need to use six TCs. And of course, you can see here as well that our turbines are off of our external TCs with our batteries inside the externals right here, making this much easier early game to run electric on. As you can see here, this is the upkeep for one of the six external TCs. So just multiply this by six to get your total daily upkeep for the six externals. All right, let's go ahead and move inside. And of course you can set these furnaces up as a furnace wall if you would like. Coming in here, we have the start of our funnel wall. So we have some shotgun traps on each side and coming inside here, we have some bedrooms. So on all six sides, these bedrooms have six beds and two lockers so that's a lot of beds already coming in a little further you can see here we have more shotgun traps just to guard the funnel wall but here we have two sets of bedrooms one right here and one over here so now as you can see here the turret angles are pretty damn good so if anyone pushes into the early starts of the funnel this turret will kill them pretty much immediately but if they make it all the way through that then this turret is probably one of the best turrets i've ever seen just in terms of covering the base it'll cover up high and it will cover the two entrances into the base making this turret insanely broken and of course we have some additional turrets here like this one way up high which will cover things for you okay coming inside here as you can see, we do have these bedrooms right here. Um, coming up here, you can see that built onto the starter, we have some additional bedrooms. This way you can have bedrooms immediately once wipe starts. Coming over here, you can see that these parts of our base are disconnectable using this wooden piece right here. And of course, we have some breach peaks and these breach peak angles are insanely good looking directly down the funnel wall on each side. Coming inside, we're gonna go down into our starter. Here we have plenty of box space plenty of furnace space 
and our main TC. Here is the upkeep on main TC. Obviously this is a lot, but with the new automation update, you'd simply pipe a metal and a stone box into this TC and you're good to go. And here as part of the starter, you have, it looks a little rough right now, but without the roof on, you have roof peaks out of your starter, which is very nice for getting your base down at the beginning of force. Okay, coming up here, we're going into our factory. But well, here in our factory, we have some armored turrets. So in the event your base gets cored out from the side, these turrets almost never break just because they're hidden like this. And in the factory, you can see we have plenty of box storage and we have some of our mixing tables up high. So yes, our factory part of the base has 12 turrets. And as you can see here in the middle, there is a ladder hatch. So we're gonna go up in this ladder hatch. Going up into this ladder hatch here, you can see that this wraps all the way around and this takes us up into our open core. Now, of course, this doesn't look very safe, but it's for a good reason. This way down here, you can run pipes directly from these boxes or from these furnaces and take them directly up into your open core where you can deposit all the loot. With six garage, garage doors in between that as well as two armor or two metal roofs I feel like you should be more than fine all right going up on the side of the base oh and of course um, on these sides here there are more battery spots so just more battery storage as needed Coming up another level, we have our early game shooting floor. There are turrets missing here, but you can add turrets there if you'd like. Again, some very overpowered breach peaks here. And this kind of gives us a nice peek down into our shell, which is super nice for early game raid defense. And right here, as you can see, our bedrooms from the starter come up another level and connect right here. So you have beds in your early game shooting floor as well. All right, going up a level here. Here we have a small little bedroom space under our open core so you could spawn in here and defend from below. Going up another level, we have our open core itself with plenty of box storage as well as turrets behind ramps, just like so. You are all good to go. This is one of the more OP open cores I've seen in a long time. Oh, and of course, more battery storage. Coming up again, we have shooting floor. So we got some pretty nasty peaks here given how shooting floor is made as well as some breach peaks that get some great angles down into your compound and at raid bases. And here, of course, more wide gap peaks. As you can see, we have a locker in our shooting floor as well as shoots down into those starter bedrooms that you saw earlier in the early game shooting floor. Coming inside, you see that we have a bedroom spawn floor with six lockers in the middle. The turrets here also covered this floor, which is very nice. And you have extra box storage as well. So you can spawn on these beds and quickly hop into your shooting floor or hop in here to defend your open core. Going up again. Here we are at roof. Of course, there are roof peaks to protect your roof. Coming up here, this is where our vending machines are. And of course, we have our Miami peaks here on the sides just to defend from siege tower raids. Coming over here, just more roof peaks as such and we have turrets up high. Now coming inside here, it might appear that this is pretty easy to get around, but of course you have these turrets on the outside and these armored turrets in here that are very hard to see. These are very nice turret angles and I've caught a bunch of people slacking here. People just land in the middle of the roof and not look under these roof pieces. Those turrets have killed plenty of people in my testing of the space and I feel like you guys will get a kick out of them. So that's about it for the tour. Let's go ahead and get on to the base build. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and secure our build spot. To do this, we're gonna place down a triangle foundation, a wall to the left and right hand side with a floor on top, and we're gonna place our TC right on that triangle foundation. Here, we're gonna place a door frame and a single door on it, and now we have our build spot secured. So to build the base, we're gonna go ahead and build a hexagon starter. And now we're gonna do a typical circle starter and put a square off of each of the triangles. And we can fill these triangles in right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch to six-sided symmetry, as you can see here. This is on the server Builder Sanctuary, where you can use symmetry to learn your bases. Off of this triangle, we're going to go out two squares. Just like that. It'll look the same on each side. And off the squares, we're going to go out with another hexagon of triangles just like this, as well as a triangle here and here. Now we're gonna go ahead and build some jump ups into base so your people don't complain about it. We're gonna go ahead and switch to twig, replace a square here, and we're gonna place a roof here. And that just serves as an easy jump up into the base. Switching back into stone, we're gonna place our walls on all six sides. So it's gonna be the same on all six sides, just like this. Now we're gonna switch into three-sided symmetry. 
To do that, you just go right in this menu here. And what you're gonna do is pick a side, any side, doesn't really matter. And you're gonna place honeycomb on one side and seal it in. Now it's the same on these three sides. And then the other three sides, we're gonna create our jump ups. So you'll place a wall here facing out. Do a jump up here. And right here, we're gonna go up with two walls just like that. Half wall here with a floor there. Floor frame here. And we'll place a roof right there so people can't jump into your roof peaks here. So we're gonna go ahead and secure this starter here. We'll place our roofs just like that. And this is where the front entrance is gonna be. So we're gonna place a door there a wall here and this will be another jump up you can go ahead and build this up if you'd like and just remember to place a half or a floor there before you do anything else wall here and door frame there and you could seal this in if you already have the door frames which i are the uh, garage doors which i assume you do as a clan you can garage door basically all of this in and but for the front door i would keep that a double door i would keep this one a double door for now as well All the jump ups into your base are secured. You can place a door here if you'd like, it's not really necessary. Let's go ahead and finish this up and build the loot rooms. So this is the basic loot room set up for the base. And if you really want, you can rotate this wall that way just so they can't pick into the loot room. And we're gonna create loot rooms just like this. And we will seal all of this in. You can get a ton of doors on this thing, so don't worry. We'll always have enough doors for this. And now I'm gonna turn symmetry off. Here in the center, we need to go ahead and make our TC a bit more secure. So we're gonna place a wall here, wall here, and we can do two double doors right here with garage doors on these. If you really want to make this super strong, you can go ahead and metal out these walls and this roof. And on this side right here, you can just place a wall right here and a wall right here. You can seal this in. And I'm gonna go ahead and toss down some furnaces in here. I'd place a door frame here as well. So now you have all your furnaces and now we're gonna go ahead and seal on the roof. You're just gonna match the pattern on the floor and we're gonna go ahead and turn back on symmetry for this. And that is your base sealed in. You can go ahead and drop all your boxes into these shelves. I'm not gonna do that for you, but that is basically the full extent of the starter. Coming up top here, we'll go ahead and seal these in and we'll go ahead and match the design that we did on this side over here. All right, now that we have this part of the starter done, we're gonna go ahead and build the early game bedrooms onto the sides of the base. We will be doing that right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add a wall here, a wall here, and a window here. This will be one of the first places you wanna toss a vertical embrasure on. In this corner over here, we're gonna place a locker just like so. And if you really want, you can make this a early game battery location and it's kind of hidden as well. You could turn your battery this way, place that right here, and you could take your locker and place it right in front of the battery and you'll still have enough room for beds in here. We'll create our jump up there. We will get our bed right here and right here. So now you have a locker and a battery. And this right here is going to be outside of the base. So we're gonna seal this out here and we'll have a door right here, a window right here, and a window right here. We'll go ahead and create a jump up right here. This will have a, a floor frame on it and we will seal this part in. So starting right here, we can go ahead and put a embrasure facing out right there and another one right here. You wanna place a small box or a bed right here. A bed is always a great option if you have another teammate needs to sit up here. Place a garage door on this and we'll definitely want another garage door down low. Coming up top here, just to secure this, we will have a wall facing out here, a frame here, a frame here and a floor frame right here. And we can just go ahead and wall this part of the base in. 
And of course, this will be a, another locker room. And you can do the battery trick here if you would like, but it is not really necessary. So already, when we do this on all six sides, we have 24 beds in the base. So let's go ahead and get to the buildup on the sides of the base. All right, so let's go ahead and build our externals off the side of the base. This part will be pretty simple and we can do most of this in twig for now and reinforce it later. So off of these sides right here, where the bedrooms are, you can see here's the bedroom. We're gonna go out with four foundations and we're gonna place a triangle on the end and we will delete these foundations back towards the base. And now going back, we will do a triangle just like that. And we're gonna place a square at the end of that and triangles just like this. Now we can delete all of these foundations that we used to build out, including these three right here. And off of this, we're gonna do a square, a square here, and then triangles just like this. This is what these sides of your base should look like. Okay, off of this, off of one of these two sides, we're gonna do a square, and we're gonna do a triangle right here with another square off the end. And just to help you remember this part, we're gonna go ahead and place a wall here as this is the edge of your compound bedrooms. And now we're gonna do our disconnectable. So we're gonna do a square foundation here, we're going to go out with a half moon and this is where the disconnectable begins. We're going to do a square, a triangle on each side and then three triangles in the back. We can go ahead and stone all of this right here. We'll switch back into stone just for the rest of this. Now to secure your TC out here, we'll do some interesting stuff, but here we're going to place walls just like that. You can do walls on this side as well. And then facing the base, we're going to do two half walls for the disconnectable. A single door here. We'll put the single door in and a wall there. You want to make sure that this is airlocked just to help you keep these secure early on. So now you have to pick which side you'd like your TC to be on because the other one will get the battery. So for me, I like to place it on the right side, but you can always mix it up and uh, you can either use a door or a window for this. It does not matter. And then on the other side, we're going to place a battery. And I'm gonna window that as well. Now I will say on the back of these, I would go ahead and make that metal just so they have to pick either both of these walls or that back two walls and waste eight rockets on it. And if we're really being secure about it, I'd metal these as well. All right, we're gonna go ahead and seal this in. We're gonna add a double door frame here and we can place a garage door right there just to make that more secure. And now we're gonna place a locker right here, a bed right here and a bed right here. So now you have functional respawns in your external TCs. And now we're gonna go ahead and fix up compound and make it more secure. We're gonna go ahead and stone this part of the base here, as well as this part. We're gonna remove this foundation and stone all of this. Right here, we're gonna do a frame, two frames here in the middle, and we're gonna do a wall off one side of these foundations here. It doesn't matter which, we're just connecting it together right now. We're gonna go ahead and stone this wall right here and place the floor on top. And we can remove all these foundations and place our disconnectable. So we're gonna do a frame off of the TC and then two frames here and one, two frames there just like that. And now your disconnectables are ready to go. All right, and I know that a lot of groups like to rush electricity, so let's go ahead and get our electricity set up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up enough double door frames here until they hit 20 stability. So let's go ahead and do that. Still at 30 stability, so we're gonna keep going. All right, and we hit 19 stability, that is good enough. This will ensure that we get the maximum power draw out of our turbines up here. And all you have to do is take the output from the turbine and run it directly down into the battery inside of your externals. And that gives you early game power. And now we can go ahead and get focused on building the compound. So while we're out here, what we're gonna do is off of each of these externals, we're gonna build foundations out that will help us cover privilege throughout the compound and will allow us to place our walls early game. So we're gonna do a foundation off of this TC here, and these can be wood. So I'd go ahead and make that wood. I'm gonna do a square right here, two triangles right here, another square, and then three triangles off the end of that square. 
And we're going to do the same thing on each side. Now you have a very solid footprint that you can connect everything together on. So coming here, you can do a wood or a stone gate. It really doesn't matter. And I also forgot, make sure you metal these foundations as well so they don't splash the battery and the TC at the same time. Facing the back of this external here, we're gonna use it as an airlock. We're gonna place our gate just like this and make sure the gate is facing out. Stop, fa or stop placing your gate facing in. And now coming off to the sides of your gates, we're just gonna connect these together. This really doesn't matter how you do it, but these foundations inside of compound give you a ton of privilege to work with so let's try and connect them together the best you can all right now we are in compound let's go ahead and get our tower build started this is going to help us defend our base early game and get that shooting floor started so right here we're going to go ahead and break all this that we placed earlier we're going to go out with two floors right here and i'm going to go ahead and switch this back to stone now i'm going to delete these two foundations and come back with stone build out here on these corners i'm going to place two half walls and for the rest of this i'm going to place full walls we'll do a half wall right there with a floor connect that through the floor and we're going to place a square floor right here now right here we're gonna go ahead and place a wood floor coming back this is so you can disconnect these parts of your compound in the event you get raided the build out that we're gonna do off of these towers will block privilege in your compound if these get raided for these tcs so in the event that your externals get blown up just make sure you disconnect these portions of your base and then replace those external tcs it's super easy now we can place some frames right here and again we're gonna switch back to stone and up here, we're gonna place some windows just like this. We're gonna place half walls right here. And let's go ahead and seal this all in. And here, all you're gonna do is just place a roof just like this. And now you have some nice breach peaks. You're gonna wanna place your embrasures facing in like this. I know this is kind of weird to some people, but if you place it facing out, it gives you less vertical angles looking down. So place it facing in and you get much better angles looking down vertically. And off of these corners here, you have a choice here. You can use chain link fences or you can use gates. I like to use chain link fences just to ensure that bullets from turrets can pass right through them. And that is basically all there is to starting your tower up. If you wanna go ahead and jump up high, we can begin the breach peak part of the shooting floor. Where we're gonna place three half walls right here, three windows right here. We're gonna do frames through each part of this right here and seal this in. And of course, we're gonna place a double door frame right there. This will connect and allow you to get into your early game shooting floor. And we're gonna do two windows right here with roofs on top. We can add a turret in here eventually or early game if you'd like. That's a pretty good way to stop early game raids. And we can place our breach peaks just like this same thing you're gonna want these embrasures facing in and again since you already have early game power going you can place turrets here if you would like so all you have to do is place your turrets right there and that covers all of your early game shooting floor all right so here we are back outside of the base let's go ahead and get our early game shooting floor up just so we can defend our compound properly so we're gonna do two levels of frames right here on this bottom level, we're gonna do a gate with the handle facing this direction. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side, with the handle facing towards the towers. And right here, we're gonna do a garage door. Coming up top here, we're gonna do a, another garage door. And then on these sides here, we will just do chain link fences. Coming inside, we're gonna do a floor right here a floor right there and a floor off the side of your base as you can see this is why we added that floor frame for extra stability let's go ahead and seal this in with windows you can just do the exact same thing up top you want to add some embrasures here and now you have a functional early game shooting floor that you can defend raids from. If you are worried about this ladder hatch right here, go ahead and seal that in just to give you some extra security. But as it stands, your base is pretty strong. Let's go ahead and add on the additional compound bedrooms. So coming down here, we're gonna do a window here, a window here, and then we're gonna wall the rest of this in. We're gonna place two floors up top, a triangle floor right here, and a regular floor right here. We're going to place our horizontal embrasures here. In this back corner here, we will place our lockers. 
with windows on them. And now we will place our beds. Just like that. Now to finish this part of your base up, we need to go ahead and add our half walls right here and right here. Four triangles right here. And we're gonna add a square right there as well as triangles off the sides of the base. You can do it just like this, doesn't matter. And now on all six sides of your base, within the inside of the base on the starter, you have your 24 beds in here. And now on the outside, you have another 24 beds. So, so far our base has 48 beds and we are only halfway done. All right, so let's go ahead and build our factory. So what we are going to do is we are in three-sided symmetry right now. We're gonna go ahead and match what we have on each side. So I'm gonna place a wall here, a half wall there, and then a floor on top. And now it matches these sides as well. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of these double doors here and we're gonna replace those with garage doors. We're gonna place a wall here and we're gonna go ahead and face the hard side of this wall in. We're gonna place a half wall right here. And we're gonna seal that in with floors just like that. And this is the same on each side. So we're gonna do the same right here. All right, now that this is done, we're gonna go ahead and switch to six-sided symmetry. And now what we're gonna do is since we have our early game power up, we're gonna place our turrets right here. We're gonna place half walls just like this with floors right here. We're gonna place half walls just like this in the center and more just like that and off the sides here we're gonna go ahead and add square floor frames and here in the middle we can add ramps as well and upgrade these to metal let's go ahead and add a frame right here this will eventually get a garage door so you can add that if you would like and we're gonna go up with another layer of walls on all of these and make sure that these walls are facing in so you will have to upgrade the one on the original breach peaks to metal and then face that inward. And as you can see here, this is gonna be a loot room. So you can place a floor here and place a triangle through the wall, just like that. And you can place that back there. You can come remove that triangle, but just remember if there's a bed there, it will block you from placing the triangle through the wall. I'm gonna place a square here, a square on top, and we're gonna place a frame right here with a half wall there. Coming up top here, we're gonna go ahead and seal this in. And right here, we're gonna have a wall facing out, just like that. Now up here, we have the option for more turrets. We're gonna do half walls just like this, just seal it in, and we're gonna add our turrets here. And now in the middle of the base here, what we're gonna do is place our double door frames. We're going to place a layer of walls on top of those. And now with symmetry off, I'm gonna place a floor frame here and a floor frame here. And now we will seal in the rest with regular floors. And what you want to do is add a ladder hatch right here and right here. And you're going to place a wall just like so. Go ahead and add a bunch of double doors in the middle. And you can place garage doors on all of these if you'd like. This way, anything that you are doing in this room, whenever you get your furnaces going, I'll get the furnaces set up now. Our furnaces will be set up just like this. And just to kind of clarify how this all works, you're gonna place your crafting tables just like this on the top row, and you'll be able to place your boxes on the bottom row. So now you could take the outputs from these boxes, you can run it into these furnaces, anything that you craft in these mixing tables. You can even place tier twos up here if you want. I have a tier two in this corner with industrial crafters on them to craft GP and whatnot. You can pipe all of it through these ladder hatches and up into your open core, which makes this base super good for automation. But now let's go ahead and seal this in. All we're gonna do is place floors here and floors here. And coming back over here, we're gonna place floors right there. In these spots here, make sure that you have them covered with ladder hatches. And now we are good to move on to the open core build. All right, so outside the base real quick, we're gonna go ahead and place our large furnaces just so you can have enough materials to power through the rest of the build. All you have to do is take your furnaces, you can put them up as high as you'd like. And you're gonna push them against these wooden foundations here that we set up earlier. It doesn't have to be precise at all. You're just gonna push them as far back as you possibly can. Okay. 
and that is all there is to it. So let's go ahead and move on to the open core. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get our open core build done now. So one thing you wanna do is go to the side of your base and go down all the way to the first floor and find the side that has the jump ups into your open core. So as you can see, this side here has the jump up down into my open core. So I'm gonna come back up top and I'm gonna switch over to this side. This way, your open core isn't connected to your starter. I'm gonna place a window here. We're using three-sided symmetry, by the way. And we're gonna place walls here and here. We're gonna do walls on the outside as well. A wall here and a window, or in a door frame here. Let's go ahead and get the jump up placed right there. And let's seal this part in. Coming up another level. This is going to be the entrance into your open course. We're gonna place a double door frame here, a wall here, walls along the outside as well. A wall right there and a door right here. You can place a battery here or a vending machine. It's up to you. And a double door frame there. Let's create another jump up here. And now we have the sides of the open core ready to go, but we need to get this side done as well. So we're basically going to turn this into a jump up to the same height that we did on the other side, only this is going to be sealed in. And we're just gonna create a jump up here. with this part of the base done it gets pretty easy from here coming outside you this is going to be a shoot all the way up into your shooting floor so you can place two walls here going up and we're going to do the same thing on all sides and we can go ahead and seal this in to make life easy for you you can place your ladders here now if you want it's not entirely necessary though and we're going to seal this in just like that do the same thing over here now we are getting our open core going so on these triangles right here we're going to do half walls on each side with a floor on top on the sides with these windows here we're going to go ahead and place a floor frame and we're going to place a ramp pretty far down here this ramp will simply have boxes placed on top of it you can put valuable loot in here if you'd like and while you're building this part of your open core feel free to add turrets inside of these rooms these rooms will cover the uh, open core while it's being built that's just super helpful early game coming to the side here we're gonna go two walls up right here we're gonna do the same thing on this side here we're gonna place a floor and before we do anything, you can make these some secret loot rooms. All you have to do is come in here and place these boxes a little farther out than they should be. That way it's very hard to see, but you can look down and loot these once all the boxes are placed. So you can place boxes in here just like this and raiders won't be looking vertically down while they're, lo they're looting those boxes. Let's go ahead and get the uh, loot rooms built here. And again, you'll probably want to come up here and place these boxes before you seal it in, as these boxes are pretty difficult to place later on. Go ahead and place a frame here and a half wall there, and we can seal this from above. It's the same on each of the three sides. Here we're going to place a floor, and then we will place a triangle floor through the wall. So you can see this is just honeycomb, so you don't have to worry about going in there and deleting it. It will eventually decay. We're going to place a triangle there. We're going to place a triangle here. That gives us three levels of storage. And up top here, we're going to place door frames just like this, and we're going to place a floor right there. We'll do the same thing on this side. All right, from up top here, we can go ahead and seal this back square in. Right here, we're gonna place our floor frames on each side, and we're gonna place ramps facing in. These will become our ramp turret spots. We're gonna seal that in right there. And now your open core is essentially done. We can go ahead and seal it up. So now your open core is secure. Let's go ahead and get moving with the shooting floor. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get the shooting floor build done. So we're gonna come over to the towers and we're gonna place 
all of double door frames that we can, and we're gonna go up two on these back ones. We're gonna place one floor frame here in the, or one double door frame here in the middle. We're only gonna go up one set of frames on the outside. Coming up top here, we're gonna place our floors, and off of these sides, we're gonna place our triangle roofs. Coming back out front here, we can go up with two frames. And on top of those, we're gonna place windows just like this. Over here, you have your shooting floor breach peaks. I'm gonna go ahead and place roofs on these, and we're gonna get some frames just like this. Here, we can just do wall our low walls instead and use those as regular roof breach peaks. Coming down outside, we're gonna go up with two sets of double door frames here, and we will seal this in just like we did below. We'll place a floor here on the inside of the base, and on this side, this is where your chute ends, so you're gonna place a floor frame there. Here, you can place a double door frame just like that, a wall here and a wall here, and then you can seal this in, you can place a garage door there if you'd like. Here, we're gonna go ahead and place our windows, and facing the base, we're gonna seal this in, a floor off the side right there, and we'll place a wall frame just right there. And we can go ahead and seal in our shooting floor. Again, remember for your breach peaks, you're gonna to wanna to turn your horizontal embrasures inward so you get better vertical peaks down into compound. And then on the sides here, we're gonna do our vertical embrasures just like this. Coming inside here, we're gonna go ahead and build our bedroom. So this is gonna be a rooftop bedroom that we can use. We're gonna place walls in the middle with lockers right here. We'll place windows and we're gonna face these out with window or with roofs on top coming over to the sides here we're going to place a wall right here with a floor on top and we can go ahead and half wall this if we'd like and here we will take a turret and place it right on the end these turrets will cover your open core through the ramps which makes it very hard to break them later on. And here within this room, you can basically put beds wherever you'd like. I mean, out here into the shooting floor on these triangles right here, you can place a locker as well, and you can window that in if you would like. And coming back inside, we're gonna create one more jump up up to the roof, same as we did below. And now we can go ahead and seal in this whole portion of our base with our bedrooms. And feel free to use these shelves for boxes as you see fit. All right, now we are on the roof. Let's go ahead and finish up the base. Let's create our jump ups here. We're gonna do walls just like this with a double door frame on those two sides as well as right here. And now we can go ahead and seal in our jump up with a garage door. And I'd recommend placing garage doors here as well as raiders love to breach this part of your roof. On the inside here, I can create some drop loot by placing a vending machine right here, but that's use it as you see fit. Coming outside, I'm gonna place half walls with a floor on top. And for now, we can go ahead and place turrets in these. Make sure that these turrets are powered and have ammo and a gun before you do anything further on them. I'm gonna place a floor frame right here. And coming over here, we're gonna place a wall facing, or a half wall facing in with a window on top. And now on each side of this, we're gonna add a roof piece just like this. And on the outside, you wanna place some triangles with roof triangles facing in. This way, if an opposing team breaches the opposite side of your base, you could sit up here and shoot at them as they basically foundation wipe your base. It's a good point to counter from later game. Um, over here, we can place our SAM sites. This base can take six SAM sites, which is super nice. Coming over to the outside, we're gonna go ahead and finish our tower build. We're gonna do floor frames off these two sides with three double door frames on them a single door frame here with a triangle on top, and we're gonna place roof triangles just like this. Now on all of these double door frames, we're gonna place chain link, and here we're gonna place our vending machine to run our shop. Up top here, we're just gonna add a turret, and to kind of show you guys how these work, if an opposing team sets up a raid base, they will not be able to shoot you through two layers of chain link fence. However, if they push into compound, you can kill them through the single layer of chain link that looks down. A super useful trick for clan bases. Coming over here, I'm gonna switch to metal. I'm gonna place one metal roof in the middle, and on the sides here, I'm gonna place stone roof triangles, just like that. Coming back into the middle here, I'm gonna upgrade these roofs to metal 
And once your turret is full and good to go, I'm gonna place a low wall here, as well as a ramp on the inside. You have to uncrouch slightly to get to it. We're gonna upgrade that to metal as well as these. This way, if someone lands up here or anywhere on your roof, those turrets can still see them through the bottom of that ramp or through the bottom of the uh, roof piece right there, making those turrets super overpowered. So that is the main base finished. Of course, you will want to upgrade your base directly to metal whenever you get the chance. And now with our main base in metal, let's go ahead and get the funnel wall complete. All right, so let's go ahead and get our funnel wall built. So on these corners here that we already had built for our externals, we're gonna add windows. And we can go ahead and build this in metal now. Let's just assume that you have the metal. Half wall here. And in these pods here, we will add turrets. These turrets will cover big breaches into the sides of the base, which are super nice later game. And we can add some horizontal embrasures there. On this piece, we're gonna go up with two double door frames and we're gonna place four frames on top. For these, we can go ahead and place chain link if you'd like. Up top here, we're gonna place half walls. We're gonna place a turret right here. And we will place roof triangles on top of that, just like this. All right, off to the sides here, we're gonna do half walls with two half walls in the middle. And over here on each side, we are going to place ramps just like this. Uh, these are ramp turrets and these turrets will protect when the towers are blown. It will be able to shoot raiders deep in the base as they are as they are trying to push deeper into the base. Now off to the sides here, we need to go ahead and build our bedrooms. We're gonna place a floor here, or a foundation here, a triangle here, two foundations off of each side with two triangles in the back. And we're gonna do triangles just like this off of each side. So now just build the funnel wall exactly as I'm doing. Obviously here's where you put your shotgun traps. And windows right here. So now you can place a floor piece here and here. And let's go ahead and seal this in. place our lockers in here kind of similar as we've done before we'll seal those in and now we will place our beds right here and we will place our embrasures just like this but as you can see these bedrooms give you insane peaks into the sides of your base this is where raiders will push in which makes it super annoying. Now to finish this part of your base up, we need to go ahead and add our half walls right here and right here, four triangles right here. And we're gonna add a square right there as well as triangles off the sides of the base. You can do it just like this, doesn't matter. Now with everything half height, you have some fantastic peaks into your base. And coming back up here, we're gonna add our half holes right here. And this is the most broken turret I've ever placed in rust. So if you put bolties into these turrets, they cover the entirety of the bottom of the base through these chain link fences. And it's just, it's too good. It is way too good of a turret. Let's go ahead and seal these in here. We're gonna add half walls. We're gonna wanna protect this turret as well. So we will add a roof piece just like this with triangles off of each side. And if you'd like, we can add another turret up high to cover roofs in the base. And we will simply just add a turret in here as well. Coming outside here, we're gonna do two triangles off of each side of the external TC piece, a square, and a triangle on the end of that. Again, these of course will be funnel pieces, so build them as you had before. And place your shotgun traps inside of here, and we will do the same thing on the other side. And we will seal this inner portion in. And on the inside here, you can kind of go crazy with bed placement. Each of these can fit six beds and two lockers, which is super nice. Last but not least, we're gonna add a couple or another turret here. So we're gonna do a half wall 
a roof triangle on top, just like this, and we'll place our turret right here. And we will do half walls on each side with a roof on top of those. This way, that turret covers the funnels. When people run in or they try to go deeper into the funnel, this turret will stop them, as will these shotgun traps, as will this turret. And you can see how broken this base really gets. And one of your last orders of business is gonna be to place barricades. So you don't wanna place barricades as far back as you can get them on each of these sides. Just like that. And out here, we're just gonna place as far back as we can. It doesn't really matter how you do this. There's no science to it. Just place barricades to stop people from climbing over your funnel wall. And that is the finished Axiom build. Let's go ahead and move on to the outro. So that is the finished build to the Axiom. I truly hope that you all enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed building it. I know that this base will carry you all through some great wipes as it has done for me. This base is truly the best clan base I've ever used in the game. And I hope that you all enjoy it. So thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.